Defeat the car dealer finance officer and save thousands on your next car deal by blowing up the deal in the finance office. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth to help you guys lay the smack on the foolish finance officer and get even with those greedy little bustards whose number one <laughs> desire is to pack your car deal full of unwanted fake fees and additional products. We hope to give you enough value so you consider subscribing today if you're not already on board with us. I want to start by giving every one of you some encouragement and confidence that what we're going to share today will work and will also give you the knowledge that added fees, additional dealer markups, and the so-called already installed options on your vehicle, which artificially jack up the price of your car, often violate a number of state and federal laws that protect consumers from questionable dealer practices. The law is on your side. You are not out of line for challenging them on this. Let me also say this, if you haven't already seen our video on 11 fake fees, you must before you buy another vehicle. All of the fake fees outlined in that video can and must be declined. Dealers are engaging in these practices now more than ever and it violates requirements for them to have transparent and easy to understand pricing. Fees are simply a way of jacking up the price after the fact and you must not let them get away with it. I'm going to cue you to take notes at various points, so be ready. Declining any and all added fees is one of the notes you'll want to take with you into finance, so write it down. I'll also give you a little summary at the end. In order to stay in business and to avoid big fines and penalties, car dealers are required to be in compliance with consumer protection laws. One of the favorite things for finance officers to do at dealerships is to tell you, the car buyer, that some unexpected product, another unanticipated expense, is already installed on the car with the claim that they can't take it off and they do it to all their vehicles. This is a violation of law. It offers no transparency with true pricing and dealers have faced huge fines around the country for engaging in this practice. Millions of dollars. Yeah. Such information is supposed to be clearly displayed on their website, something they never do, so you aren't surprised by it when you sit down in the finance office. So if you ever hear this claim and the finance officer claims that the dealer installs this on all their cars, very quietly and politely ask them to show you the detailed information along with the easy to understand pricing of that particular product on their website. Here's one of the biggest offenders for dealers, a very worthless product known as window etching or theft protection we've covered it several times here on this channel, was commonly one of the most typical products that fell into this category, with the dealer claiming it's already on the car and they install it on all of their vehicles. This product is so bogus that its biggest critics happens to be other car dealers themselves. They say every dealer doing this is nothing but a crook. Take a note here. You will politely ask to see the brochure or contract that would be supplied to you if you had actually voluntarily agreed to buy it and then look for the line on the document that clearly states that it is a voluntary purchase by you, the car buyer. Read that line out loud in the finance office and then look the finance officer straight in the eye and say, I'm not volunteering to buy this product, I'm declining it. Watch the finance officer get red faced and frustrated and get up and, and quickly leave the office to go to the car manager. This tactic is commonly known as blowing up the car deal and you are winning. Totally. At this point, the dealership has already invested several hours of time into your deal. And the last thing they want to see happen is that things go sideways in finance. The deal blows up and you end up walking out buying nothing. I've seen this happen multiple times and watch the ticked off finance officer with amusement after it happened. You just sit tight and wait. Moments later, the finance officer comes walking back in the office, and makes a comment to this effect. I talked to the car manager and they're allowing you to decline this product. According to the FTC, dealerships that violate consumer protection laws can be subject to penalties exceeding $40,000 per violation. The dealer has very likely done this to many others before you and those past car contracts will be reviewed and prior customers contacted if they are in violation in your case. You giving pushback can easily result in tens of millions of dollars lost by the dealership in fines and forced restitution to be paid to all these previous customers. Everything the finance officer has to offer you is a product or warranty of some kind or an insurance policy which requires that it has its own contract. Besides theft protection, another common product that finance officers try to shove down your throat is an extended warranty. 
regardless of what the finance officer tells you, including claims that your banker wants you to have it, it is 100% voluntary. Warranties of any kind offered in finance fall under the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act. This act requires the warranty to be in writing and that it must be clearly and conspicuously labeled as full or limited. Secondly, the warranty coverage information must be contained in a simple and easy to read document. Third, the dealer must ensure that written warranty info is available at the point of purchase and that you, the car buyer, are given adequate time to actually read it. This regulation applies to both used and new vehicles, aftermarket parts, and even service policies like tire and glass replacement warranties. All of the written warranties need to be clearly displayed at the dealership and on the website, and almost never are. Another note here, ask to see the contract for any product you're offered in the finance office and ask to see where information on it is posted in the dealership for anyone to see. A quick recap of the notes you should enter the finance office with. Decline all dealer added fees. They violate transparent consumer pricing guidelines. Number two, when told that you must buy a product because it's already installed, ask to see the contract and read the line about it being voluntary purchase and then decline it. And number three, ask to see the contract for any product offered in finance and decline them all. Boom, thousands of dollars saved. You're welcome, folks. In closing, I'd like to say a special thanks to anyone who has sent in donations on my behalf. It's been heartwarming to be remembered by so many people. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. And right now, 100% of donations from viewers are going towards Kevin's ongoing care and medical expenses. All right, folks, if you appreciated this video today, consider giving us a great big thumbs up, and please, Always remember to comment on our videos and share them with family and friends and subscribe if you're not already on board with us. Also, if you go out and get yourself what you believe to be a good car deal and are treated fairly with respect by a dealer, remember to come back and share your story with others so we know who the good guys are. Also, if you use what we laid out here today in the finance office, come back and comment and let us know how that went for you. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.